welcome to Triciclo Peru. Hello, my name is Mario Diaz. I am the owner and chef of Triciclo Peru. And I'm Amy Nar, the owner and operator of Triciclo Peru. Today, we are going to cook a traditional Peruvian empanada, the classic chicken empanada. Before that, I want to share a little bit about Peru and reasons why we have one of the best cuisines in the world. And as we're exploring the ingredients and cuisines in Peru, we're also going to talk about pisco, which is the most important cocktail they have in Peru. So we'll make a pisco sour, we'll make an empanada, but first let's go explore that market. Welcome to the Peruvian market. As you may know, Peru has won the world's best culinary destination for the past eight consecutive years in a row. The secret to their wonderful cuisine is, one, the diverse ingredients that they have available, as well as the creativity of the chefs. The reason of this variety is that the different weathers that we have, different lands and different altitudes. Today, I'm going to talk about two of the principal ingredients of our cuisine, ajíes and potatoes. Peru has more than 5,000 kinds of potatoes. Peru is considered with the most variety of potatoes. The region of Cusco has an average 1,500 of native potatoes, also, in Peru, we have more than 50, 50 kinds of, of peppers. We use it then not especially for the spicy, we use it then for the color, uh, aroma, and flavor. So as you can see, we have some of the ingredients. Luckily, we're able to find some of these important ingredients here in Wisconsin, such as Peruvian peppers, limes, cilantro, very important in Peruvian dishes. Also, what's really important in Peruvian dishes is the influence of other cultures. Um, Peru is a melting pot of lots of influence from Chinese culture, Japanese culture, European cultures, and African cultures. And so they've really adapted a lot of the flavors and techniques into their cooking um, styles, and that is really what makes Peruvian cuisine so unique and so different. And we're happy to be able to share that with you here. Um, so let's go to the kitchen. Hello, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make a traditional chicken empanada. Before that, I'm going to explain you what are the characteristics of a Peruvian empanada. Number one, we, we bake our empanadas. We usually, the other countries usually fry them. Um, other characteristic is that we use raisins, olive, and a piece of olive egg inside of the classic beef and chicken. Right, so we're going to start with our chicken empanada ingredients. We've got boiled chicken. To boil your chicken breast, you're going to need to put salt and bay leaves into the water as well. And don't forget to save some of that chicken broth out of the pot. Shred your chicken once it's cool. And then we will also be using ground garlic, diced red pepper, diced red onion, green olives, raisins, and of course black pepper and salt. So we put the oil in the pot. We wait until heat up the oil. We add the onions. Two spoons of garlic. A little bit of salt. Remember that the chicken has salt already. portion of black pepper we add uh, the red pepper
we wait until the onions get get white, get clear. Now we have the chicken. This filling is very easy because the meat is already is already cooked. Remember that we will need to, to have a boiling egg to make the empanadas. So in this time you can start to boil, boil your egg. We have already some boiling egg in the refrigerator. And this filling is almost ready, so we need to add the raisins and green olive. Raisins. So you need to be that you need to be sure that the filling is very colorful because that means we have a good portions of each ingredient. The olive has the palm oil, you can add a little bit of it too to win some of the flavor. A little bit of some black pepper again, and it's ready. We move the pot from the stove. Now we are going to keep our our filling in the in the cooler because this is a tip to make empanadas. The filling need to be need to be cold. It's better. So we are going to move all the filling to a container and then put it in the in the working cooler. You can see the filling here. We have already our filling cold. We have our pole egg already peeled. Now I just turn on the oven in 350 Fahrenheit to start to, to heat the, the oven. Now we are going to cook the dough, the more important part for the empanadas. Okay, we are making the dough. So we have our baker's flour here. We have lard, eggs, sugar, salt, and water. First, we need to put a lard in the bottom. We are going to use a, a, a mixer, of course, because we use uh, big quantities of ingredients. You can do it in your house. You can mix it with your hands. It's important we put the grease in the, in the bottom. Then, we are going to put the sugar. Salt. Then we add the egg inside. So there is a little bit of sugar here, so we need to be sure that everything is inside the bowl. Now we add the flour.
you don't have a spot to grab you. Of course, this is a, a dirty process, I can say. We need to try that everything is inside the bowl. And the last ingredient is the water. the flour inside the bowl. So we mix it for for 10 minutes. And after that. We're making our authentic recipe of the dough today. As you saw, um, we're using lard and the other ingredients that are used in Peru to make a traditional recipe of an empanada. Um, of course, in this restaurant here, we are also um, vegan and gluten-free friendly, so we do have some new recipes that we've um, played with and are happy to be able to present to our customers. Our vegan empanada is completely plant-based, including the crust, so that would be a different recipe. And we have also concocted a really good gluten-free empanada as well, and so of course that's also a different recipe. A few minutes into mixing, you can see the dough is getting a nice consistency here. So this is the consistency that we need from our dough. We are going to use, to use this dough sheeter to roll, the, roll up the dough. You can do it in your house, in your play bowl. So put a little, a little bit of flour, help a little bit. So we are ready to put the dough into the mold. So we put a little bit of flour over the tops. Here we have the chicken filling that we made earlier, our hard boiled eggs, and we are passing the dough over to be filled. Make sure it fits snug on the mold. The reason we decided to make empanadas um, as one of our first menu items was because they are such a diverse product. As you can see, today we're making chicken, but really you can fill these babies with anything you want. Um, we do have some authentic flavors on the menu, but empanadas really are a vehicle to be creative and versatile. And um, as I mentioned earlier, we do have 10 flavors. We've got vegetarian options, we've got vegan options, we've got even Wisconsin sausage and cheddar options. So today with the chicken one, as Mario mentioned earlier, it has boiled egg, staple filling in a Peruvian empanada. So we're filling boiled egg first, and then we take a scoop of that delicious filling that we made. Our empanadas are nice and fat. We are ready to seal the empanadas. There you have it. Beautiful. 
Okay, so we have the empanadas on a greased baking sheet and we are brushing an egg wash across the tops so that the dough turns a nice toasty brown in the oven. To the oven we go. So the empanadas are inside now. They need to be baked in 350 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes. Now we are going to start to make a pizza sour to have all the parts ready. Welcome back to the bar. Um, we are a pure Pisco bar here at Triciclo Peru, which means we do not have any liquor except for Pisco, which is a brandy made from grapes. Um, so it is a Peruvian liquor, high proof, high volume, um, clear alcohol that comes from the winemaking regions in Peru. Um, the grapes that grow on the south coast are perfect for making a quality once distilled Pisco. The brand that we use here in our bar is Caravedo, but there are other brands as well. Um, aside from the classic Pisco that we have, we also can do infusions. Um, pisco is a very malleable flavor, and so um, we are making our own house infusions here at Triciclo. We have um, flavored Pisco with purple corn, we have uh, mint mandarin, we have an herbal flavor, and we also have a lemon Pisco. So come in and try those out. Um, but today we're going to be using the classic Pisco to make one of the most traditional cocktails in Peru, which is the Pisco Sour. Blue and simple. We have uh, fresh lime juice here, which is important that they are fresh limes. We have simple syrup um, that's easily made at your house with sugar and water. Um, and then we do have eggs here. You just need the egg whites. Um, this is important for the foam across the top of the Pisco Sour. Um, and then of course our Pisco and we have some bitters here for extra flavor. So the first step is Pisco into a shaker. You can use any jigger and any cup at your house. I'm gonna make a double. Go. And then, simple as it looks, lime juice, egg whites, sorry, simple syrup, egg whites. And then we're going to add, we are using bitter cube bitters, the Bolivar for some body, a couple drops. And then our ice scoop. For a scoop of ice, I'm making a double, so we're gonna do two scoops of ice. Cap it and shake vigorously. You really want to shake for a full minute vigorously because this is where you're activating the lime, the limes, and the egg whites um, for that nice foam at the top of the cocktail. So shake and. You don't want this part to sit for too long because you don't want the ice to melt into the pisco. So we've got our strainer and a couple simple brandy glasses. Serve our pisco sour. You can see how the foam is already coming to the top. It's nice and creamy looking, nice and foamy. And then that opaque lime color at the bottom for a classic sour. And then we are going to top it off with Bitter Cubes Cherry Bark Vanilla. You can use any bitters you want. We love this flavor here. Just a few drops on the top to add that extra aroma. Cheers. The bananas are almost ready. It's already 20 almost 25 minutes so you will see the color of them um, I, I am going to show you how we here we go I'm, I am going to show you how we serve them in Peru you can see the color they're crispy So you can still see the number, so you know that it's, that means it's a chicken. We eat the empanadas, the traditional empanadas with powdered sugar. And also we serve it with a lime and sauces. We are going to try them in our tables now. So our empanada is ready right now. 
I guess I want to say that we have four different sauces. I love to eat my empanada with a lot of sauces. So I want to show you how the empanada turn. You can see the texture, all the ingredients. We put the juice of the, of the lime inside. This is how we eat it. Um, mm. It's very good. Um, then the next bite, we want of the sauces. This is a yellow pepper sauce. empanada ready to be enjoyed. Cheers to a great cooking session. In Spanish you say salud. 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 And this street food is a tribute to the working class in Peru who a lot of time is working in the street, peddling food, peddling empanadas um, to make a living for their families. And so the name Triciclo Peru, um, it's tricycle in Spanish, is a tribute to the working class in Peru. And so being here, representing Peru, representing the working class with street food is what we're doing. Salud. So in these difficult times, unfortunately, we can't travel around. So if you were thinking to go to Peru, you have family in Peru, or you were thinking to visit Peru, uh, unfortunately, you can right now, but you can visit us. We are going to do the best work for you to feel a little bit of Peru here in Milwaukee. Stay healthy. Please. Thanks so much for spending your afternoon with us. We hope that you enjoyed yourselves as much as we enjoyed it. Um, the chicken empanada as well as the pisco sour are easily enjoyed in your own home um, upon the purchase of a pack. Um, so today we're offering a pack for $50 that includes a bottle of pisco, a three pack of take and bake empanadas, flavor of your choice. And then one of our four sauces, we have yellow pepper, spicy red pepper, black olive, or cilantro. Um, again, one sauce, one three pack, and one bottle of pisco uh, for $50. And we will also give you the pisco sour recipe upon purchase. Um, so we, again, really appreciate you spending time with us today. We really appreciate your support um, for all small businesses in Milwaukee, especially during this time. Um, but especially sharing Peru with us, that means a lot. So thank you again. <laughs>